lab. A magnet is any object or material that can produce a magnetic field. The history of magnets dates back to 1845, when people first discovered magnetic stones, the lodestones. Lodestones are naturally magnetized pieces of black mineral magnetite, commonly found in volcanic ash. So, Captain Magnetic, how do magnets work exactly? Although it's invisible, magnets have two poles, the North Pole and the South Pole. A magnetic field runs from the North Pole to the South Pole. Let me show you the magnetic field lines with my superpower. The magnetic field creates a magnetic force, which can act at a distance. We call this magnetism. For example, you can move a paperclip without touching it. Also, the closer we are to a magnet, the denser the magnetic field lines. Thus, the magnetic force is stronger. Amazing! Do the South Pole and North Pole interact with each other? Absolutely, Poppy. Same poles repel, while opposite poles attract. When we put the two North or South Poles together, they repel. On the other hand, when we put a North and a South Pole together, they attract and stick to each other. Let me tell you a fun fact. Magnets will always have two poles. Even if you cut a magnet in half, each new magnet will still have a North and a South Pole. Magnus doesn't seem to be attracted to this sheet of paper. Good observation, Mary. But my magnetic superpower doesn't work on everything. Only magnetic objects can be attracted by a magnet. Objects that can't are called non-magnetic objects. Do you think the rubber bands and the highlighter pen are magnetic or non-magnetic? Good job, tipsters! The rubber bands and the plastic highlighter pens are not attracted to magnets. They are non-magnetic. Now how about a metal tape measure and scissors? The tape measure and the pair of scissors are magnetic. The magnetic objects look like metal objects with shiny surfaces. The non-magnetic objects look like dull objects made of materials like rubber, plastic, paper, and glass. but I'm not sure why the shiny aluminium can and the silver necklace are not magnetic. Aren't all shiny metals supposed to be magnetic? Want to watch the full video? Sign up now and get started with your own free trial.